Good morning, guys. Welcome to science class. Measuring air pressure, wind direction, and speed. It's our topic. It's a very long topic. So write a comma here. Let me change the color for to make this comma. Miss, I already copy all. Okay. Measuring air pressure, wind direction, comma here also. Comma and speed. See two commas here. Comma here. Measuring air pressure, wind direction, and speed. Ready? Okay, continue. This is a wind vane. Um, well, wait, something that may that tell us indicates wind direction. Have you seen these in the airport? I remember that when my son was a little boy, he used to say when we pass next to the airport, he always used to say, I saw a big carrot. Big carrot, yes, that's a big carrot over there. Why? Because these, the ones that is in the airport is orange. Oh, this is a wind bay. Wind bay, this one. Oh, I have never, I I have seen in, I have seen in, in shows of TV, of, of, the movies, right? in farms that they have that thing, that things. Yeah. The chicken. So the chicken these ones. Moves. These ones are tools that help measure air. It could be pressure, it could be pressure, it could be directions, or it could be speed. Maria Fernanda, you connected late, and I, and I indicate when I finished the previous class, connected late. Now, you didn't copy the topic. This is a barometer, barometer, okay? Yes, I remember that I have, I remember that that in an airport when you're going up to the plane, I had mm -hmm. seen, I think I have seen one of that. Things are, are in airport. I think so. Okay. Measuring air pressure, barometer. Air pressure can be measured using a tool called a barometer. Copy the definitions of barometer, please. And the topic for you, Maria Fernanda, is this one, measuring air pressure and measuring wind directions and speed. You connected late, again. Now, copy the definitions of barometer, please. Diego, copy, don't play with that scissor. One type of barometer is made of hollow, this hollow, hollow tube that is closed at one end and open at the other end. This is a pen, right? And this pen was two ends, one, two ends. So it says here that these two, it's closed at one end and open at the other end. Here it is closed. Right? Here is closed, but here is open. Um, the tube is filled with mercury. Then the tube is turned upside we're gonna be, down. We're going to be with the same topic tomorrow. We're going to so do something related with this topic. Okay, so look what happened here. The tube is filled with mercury. Then the tube is turned upside down upside down so here it's this is the normal position but if i do this one it is upside down okay al revés that means upside down this is normal position okay it, this one is a plastic container that has two sticks see two sticks here and like if this we, is upside least, down let me guess we're gonna need to copy wind vane too Copy, wind bay. Okay, so um, notice in the picture, 
that the mercury in the tube has moved down, goes down, okay? Yes, of course. If we fill up something with liquid and we put it upside down, the liquid is gonna go down. It no longer fills the tube. In the tube, um, air pressure on the mercury in the dish affects the level of mercury in the tube. When air pressure gets higher, it causes the mercury to rise or goes up in the tube. When air pressure gets lower, some of the mercury in the tube falls back down into the dish. Another type of barometer is this circular dial in a sealed box. Yes, Alan. Copy. Yes, barometer de wind vane. You didn't copy? ¿Dónde estaba cuando yo lo indiqué? Es que se me había olvidado. Mm, I don't think so. You are not listening to me. I repeat. So, the outside box, um, the outside of the box moves slightly as air pressure changes. It is connected to a spring. Un spring is un resorte. So it is connected to a spring that moves a pointer. Un pointer is como una aguja o una dial. As the air pressure gets lower, the pointers moves to a lower number on the dial. When the air pressure gets higher, the pointer moves to a higher number on the dial. So this one measure air pressure. Okay, these two tools measure air pressure. There are two different kinds of barometers. Now measuring wind direction and speed even, even though wind is invisible, you can tell its direction by watching things move. Yeah, that's true. If we see the, the this one is a tree. Imagine I am a tree. If I am moving to this direction, so it means wind is blowing from left to right here. But if I move to the other side, so moving, wind is blowing from right to left. Just by watching objects, we can, we can say which, which direction the wind is blowing. Uh, you can see the direction that a flag moves or that tree bend in the wind. You can even get a quick idea of the wind's direction by wetting your finger or hold, and holding it up. Yeah, that's, that's correct. That was people. People that were in the ocean, in a ship or in a boat. They um, says they here using a wedding, wetting your finger, wetting your finger. How? They could do this, put it inside the mouth. Now that it has a light bulb, it's wet. They hold it up and feel the wind. So it was a very antique technique. But it works because before people don't have a barometer. So they use, that was a very antique technique. Your finger will feel cooler on the side the wind is blowing from. Interesting, huh? For a more exact measurement of the wind's direction, scientists use a wind vane. A wind vane rotates on top of a pole. Pole is esto. It is a pole. A, a, a broom, una escoba, has a pole. And now, don't tell me that you have a problem with your camera, Alan, or you would be on the waiting room. I would text your mom. A wind vane rotates on top of a pole. It has a tail. This one is the tail that can be pushed by the wind. The tail of the vane swings away from the wind, an arrow uh, on the opposite end of the bank points into the wind. 
Some wind veins have markers or crossbars showing the four main directions. Four main directions. What are the four main directions? This one. South, west, east, and north. That's a very helpful thing. Um, the four main directions, north, south, east, and west. Wind vanes are one of the oldest tools. Isabella, for observing weather. A wind sock. That's what, that's what you can see in the airport. A wind sock, such as the one in the picture, this one, shows, this is the wind sock, shows, um, a wind sock also give a good idea of how fast the wind is blowing. If the sock stands straight out, the wind is blowing fast and strong. If the wind sock barely lift, casi no se levanta el sock, in the breeze, the wind force is quite low. Airports often have wind socks set up that pilots can tell the directions of the strength and strength of the wind. Yeah. Wind socks. The ones next time you pass next to the airport, you are you can see wind socks. These ones are the airport. The ones that are here in Tom Contina are orange. And that's why my son, every time we pass by the airport, he said, he used to say, I saw a big carrot. For him, it was like a carrot. I saw a big carrot. And we were, we were asking, mm, where, where do you see? Ah, yeah, but he was a little boy, so he cannot explain us better where. But he, because he, 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 he likes to observe everything, everything by the window. It's, it is very common that kids fall asleep when they are in the car. But my son, no. He was always observing everything by the window. Copy this definition, anemometer. However, exact wind speed is measured using a tool called an anemometer. Anemometers are usually placed high above a roof or atop the mast of a boat. Yes? We need two to copy, listen to remove. This anemometer, a tool that measures wind speed. So we saw three. The barometer measures pressure. What was the second one? Wind vane measure and direction. <clears throat> okay. Again, and in, uh, the first one was barometer measure pressure, air pressure. Wind vane measure direction. And anemometer measure speed. Wind speed. You have to copy this definition, right, Alan? Anemometers are usually placed high above a roof or atop the mast of a boat in el palo alto de un bote. There is an anemometer. Sometimes anemometers are connected to wind vanes. An anemometer has three or four cups. Here you have an example. This is one cup, two cups, and three. So these anemometers have three cups. Uh, cups attached to a top, to, to the top of a pole. The cups are often shaped like small, hollow balls that are cut in half, como half of a ball. So this is como un huequito, como un guacalito, like that, como un ball. As the wind blows, it pushes the cups, pushes the cups and the cups uh, and causes this part of the anemometer to spin. The number of turn per minute, it changes to wind speed by gears, similar to the speedometer of an automobile. Yeah, the faster these cups spin, 
Yeah, it's gonna show you a number and it's gonna tell you the speed of the wind. When the wind blows fast, the anemometer spins very fast. Anemometers are often hooked up electrically to a dial that shows the wind speed. So that dial gives you a number. Did you finish copying the definition? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. Everyone finished? Yes. No. Yes. You got a minute to copy that. A tool, a tool that makes your wind speed. Some six, some seven words, including the title. I don't think you need more than a minute. Continue. Look at it works. This. this is the way it works. See, the air is pushing. It's pushing the anemometer. It's pushing the cup. The cup. Air is pushing the cup. Now, let's watch this video, please. Let's copy these questions. Number one, what causes wind? Do you remember what causes wind? Do you? The air. The air. <laughs> wind is caused by, by air flowing from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. So, wind is caused by air flowing from an area, area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. How is air pressure measured? What instrument can we use to measure air pressure? You copy the definitions of them. Do you remember? A, yes. a tool wind vane. The, wind vane. the wind vane. No. What is it? The wind speed. No. You copy three definitions. Yes, that one. No, it's not a thermometer. Thermometer measures temperature. You didn't copy the definitions of thermometer, do you? Air, air pressure. But what is the instrument that measures air pressure? Thermometer. Thermometer. No. Alan, quickly. Thermometer measure temperature, not air pressure. So you didn't copy the definitions? The only things you that you have to do miss, miss, miss. now is read the what you have to do. Anemometer. 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 A tool that measure wind speed. Wind speed, no air pressure. Anemometer measure the wind vane. The wind vane. Wind vane. No, read what does wind vane measure? What is it? The wind vane. Wind vane measure direction. What does how is air pressure measured? Is with weight by with a barometer. So that's the only things I need you copy here. Don't copy everything. Just copy barometer. A barometer. Okay. And then the first one we need to copy all. Just a barometer. Yes, in the first one, everything. How is the pressure measured? Oh, copy using a tool called a barometer. That's it. How is the pressure measured? Using a tool called a barometer. And then number three, how do scientists measure wind directions and speed? Wind vane. Wind vane. With a wind vane, measure um, the, direction. The, the, direction. The anometer. In the anometer, you measure speed. Exactly. Scientists measure wind direction 
using a wind vane and they use an anemometer to measure with wind speed. Okay. Do we have homework in science? Do you remember? I think you do. No. Do you? No? no? Oh, yeah, that's true. I think the, the homework is to get the materials. Yes, don't forget the materials for tomorrow. Are you ready to send I, them I already to have your them parents? Here. Materials, bring them yesterday. materials are going to be needed for second class. Okay? So thank you guys for your attention.